Hello class, welcome back to Kim's class. Today's lesson is the fourth lesson in a series about friends and family. Let's look at the reading objectives for today's lesson. The first objective says, I can read a paragraph and answer questions about family members and what they're doing. The next objective says, I can use clues in a reading passage to understand new words. Sometimes when we come upon words we don't understand, we can use other words around it to make a guess about what the word might mean. Let's go ahead and look at the paragraph about a party. I will read it to you while you listen and follow along. Let's look at the paragraph. Again, I'm going to read it for you, but you should follow along. My name is Maria. It's my birthday. I am 60 years old. My husband, my son, and my grandson are eating cake. My grandson is always hungry. My daughter is drinking water. She is always thirsty. My son-in-law is playing the piano and singing. It is a great birthday with my family. Everyone is happy. Before we look at the questions, I'd like you to look at a couple words that you may not understand and help you figure out what that word might mean. The first word is hungry. It says my grandson is eating. Hungry. Can you figure out that the word hungry means wanting to eat? Then we have the word thirsty. The word thirsty comes in the sentence after the daughter who is drinking. Thirsty is wanting to drink. There's also a new family word. That family word is son-in-law. We haven't talked about that word, so I'm going to explain it. A son-in-law is the husband of your daughter. So my daughter is married. Her husband is my son-in-law. There's also the word daughter-in-law. Can you figure out what that would mean? So now what I'd like you to do is write down the numbers one through six and answer yes or no to each one of these questions. You'll pause the video, write your answers, and then hit play, and I'll give you the correct answer. Go ahead and pause that video now. All right, class, let's see how we did. Number one says, Maria is 16 years old. Answer, no. Maria is 60 years old. Number two, her husband is eating cake. Answer, yes. Number three, Maria is celebrating her birthday with her friends. Answer, no. Maria is celebrating her birthday with her family. 
Number four, her daughter is drinking water. The answer is yes. Number five, Maria's son-in-law is playing piano. The answer is yes. And number six, everyone is tired. The answer is no, everyone is happy. Great job reading today. Let's go ahead and see about the objectives for today's lesson and see if how we did. The first objective says, I can read a paragraph and answer questions about family activities at a party. The second objective says, I can use clues in a reading passage to understand new words. We had some practice with that, didn't we? So that concludes today's lesson. But before you go, I'd like you to do four things for me. Is that all right? The first thing I'd like you to do is press the like button on this video. The second thing I would like you to do is share it. If you have friends or family that would like these videos, you can share it with them. The next thing I'd like you to do is to write a comment in the comment section below. And one more thing, if you are enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe. Then every time I post a new video, you will know. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me in Kim's class. And thank you for letting me come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now. I'll see you soon.